assalamu alaikum dear students um, i am uh, here to tell you about uh, how to submit an assignment in google classroom in the last video we learned about how to attempt a quiz uh, using google classroom uh, so this video is about uh, submitting an assignment it's really easy to submit an assignment using google classroom and uh, we're going to see uh, in this video how will you do that so if you have not subscribed the channel please do so and share this video with uh, your uh, classmates to help them out uh, for these online classes so you can see that i'm in a google class where uh, i have been assigned a new assignment so yeah, i can directly click here or the other if i can go to classwork I'll see that uh, here is the topic of assignments where assignment number one is assigned to me and that is due by May 28th. So if I click it, here are the instructions. Uh, please write about the topic and the deadline for this assignment is 27th May. Uh, and uh, maybe teacher forgot about uh, to write 28th May here. So you have to write three pages in MS Word with 12 font size and 1.5 line spacing. So if I click view assignment, I'll see this page uh, where the assignment is shown. So if I have any comment or like I want to ask a question, it is a general topic for the whole class and I'm, um, I'm not sure about something, I can ask that comment here and it will be shown to the whole class. If I want to directly talk to the teacher, so that my comment is not shown to the whole class, I can add a private comment right here. And now if I have uh, made an assignment in Microsoft Word separately, uh, I can just add that file here. Um, I have also created a set of videos for uh, uh, Microsoft Word, so they should be really interesting for you students if you watch them i'll give the link in the uh, in the description of this video for that uh, playlist uh, i think there are like nine to ten videos but uh, and they're, they're not long they're uh, small size videos and they will teach you um, in detail how to attempt the uh, how to make good and professional looking assignments and reports in microsoft word so just try that if you are not uh, really good at Microsoft Word. So uh, let's come back to the topic. If I want to add an assignment which I have already prepared, I click Add and File. From here, you can simply drag and drop the file here or you can select files from your device and then click Upload. That file will be added here. In the other case, if you don't have Microsoft Word at your computer or uh, it's an older version or whatever reason, you can simply click on add or create and you can create a Google Docs. So I create a Docs and then you see that it will uh, give me the full Microsoft Word functionality right in my browser where I can just attempt the assignment and then uh, submit it straight through from here. So it has opened the assignment page in a new a new tab and uh, here is your Microsoft Word so I have some data I can simply um, I, I have written that those things uh, and I'll just copy them to show you uh, how to do some basic settings so you can see that the font size is uh, 12 here and uh, as uh, instructed by the teacher and uh, then I, I'm not going to write three pages here, but you can you can do that um, if you if you want. And then you have those tools like formatting. You can format the text, paragraph, line, line spacing. Uh, teacher said about 1.5 line spacing, so I can put it 1.5. And then you can do all the settings, uh, most of the settings which you can do in Microsoft, Microsoft Word uh, in this Google Docs. Um, so this here your assignment is uh, almost uh, ready to go uh, to the teacher so uh, you can do all these settings here in this uh, uh, google docs and then straight away click on turn in 
if you click on turn in it's opening uh, the classroom in the new tab where you can see the uh, assignment page again and it's uh, it has attached your Google Docs here and asking you are you sure you want to turn in the work you can just turn in and then you can add a private comment here um, I could not make it up to three pages just something if you want it's not necessary to add a comment but if you want to uh, send a comment to the teacher you can just write in the private comment and it will show up uh, in the teachers feed so if I go to the uh, class in uh, in the teachers account I can see that uh, the assignment uh, the, there were one student in the classroom and one has turned in so if I click I can see that uh, the student has turned me the assignment here and there is a private comment which I can see that I could not make it up to three pages and then I can grade it here and all those things so it is really easy and uh, I hope you can do it on different devices like a cell phone or a computer but for assignment I would suggest you to use a computer or laptop if you have one um, otherwise you can use your cell phone as well but that's not really good for making assignments and uh, if you have any question relating to it you can just post in the comment section and I'll I'll reply to those comments and thank you so much for watching um, and best of luck for your studies and I'll see you in some next video. Bye bye.